Damn, Daniel, what are those? These nuts got him. Here come that boy. All four inches. Perfectly adequate. I'm uh, bringing you the dankest videos. Um, I've got some more Overwatch beta gameplay for you. Probably the last uh, Overwatch upload until the game comes out. I am so hyped, dude. I am so hyped for this game. Um, anyway, uh, I thought this was... Uh, I had uh, a couple of games back-to-back -back where I went uh, flawless. Uh, I'm not the best Overwatch player because um, I didn't have access to the closed beta. I only had the open beta. So this is like the second day I'm playing. And I'm not very good with Genji. So I don't really know how to play him, but I thought uh, I did pretty well. So I, the first round is with Genji, second round is with uh, Soldier uh, 76, aka Easy Mode. Um, yes, I mean if you have a full team of averageish players, I know there's a way to count the Soldier 76, but uh, if you have a full t you know lobby of averageish players who haven't been playing the beta for ages, um, if you pick Soldier 76, you're pretty much guaranteed to you know kick ass. So. Yeah, hey, look at this. I'm trying to get up on this uh, roof here, and I keep sliding off, which I don't think... Uh, I mean, he's a goddamn ninja. Why can't he stay on a slightly slanting roof? And look at me like a dumbass here, waiting at this door, thinking, oh, they're going to come from here. Nope. Nope. Are they going to come? No, I guess not. But I'm still going to stand here. What a dumbass. Anyway, uh, as I said, I'm not the best player. Uh, I'm not experienced enough, but I really enjoy this game. So I had a couple of good uh, games here, so I thought I might as well... Uh, do a little commentary and show it for you guys. Uh, I can't wait for this game to come out. Look at his slanting roof. He just slides off for a ninja who can't stand on... What is that? Barely 25 degree slant? That's pretty pathetic, to be honest. Um, so yeah, Genji. I'm not good with Genji, but I know he can be very powerful in the right hands. Uh, but I think, to be honest, I think we were playing a team full of scrubs. I don't think they even left their spawn much. I think only at the start, and then afterwards they got pushed back hard. Um, so here, here, I'm, here I'm going towards this point, and I see someone here. But uh, for some reason, I just lose him. There we go. And look at this amazing shooting. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Wow, amateur fucking hour. Did you just... That was disgusting. That was absolutely disgusting. I'm getting shot by Tracer. Trying to hide away. And uh, yeah, I think uh, the team, enemy team weren't very good. Not that I'm very good either, but look at that. He's a teammate. He's a teammate. So I'm trying to find these guys. Where are they? I don't really know the maps. And there's that spawn point. And someone uh, shows themselves. Now look at me. You know, I, I, don't, I hardly use that deflect. And I know that's the main part of Genji's uh, arsenal. And look how bad this Widowmaker is. I'm not used to the, when you dash through him. I'm not used to turning around straight away. And yeah, that Widowmaker was bad. That Widowmaker was bad. And yeah, I finished, uh, finished her off. It was pretty, pretty good. I think, I, I don't know how many kills I got in this one, but I didn't get any deaths, which is a kind of a spoiler for you guys. But anyway, look at this. Wow, look how close this was. And, and I got the kill. Uh, still, again, not sure how, but I did. Health packs. This is probably the biggest tip I can give uh, for you guys if you're total newbies know where the health packs are on the map you are playing that is such a massive advantage uh, i cannot begin to emphasize that will keep you alive if you know where those health packs are and just just if you're some of the uh, characters that can't heal heal themselves um you want to stay in the vicinity uh, of these health packs so you can just quickly retreat get your health back up and, and get back into the fight um so there's a tip for you and uh, I think now the enemy team is just gonna get spawn right I think this this is um, a thing that needs to I think needs to need some addressing because you shouldn't be able to shoot through that no entry thing uh, that's just stupid and there should be some sort of maybe maybe the enemy team when they straight away leave that spawn there's some sort of timer where they have extra health or extra speed uh, boost for for a little while uh, just to help them get out uh, the spawn this is terrible. Look at this. This is disgusting. This is disgusting camping. This is um, just me camping the spawn. This is unbelievable. I'm, I'm actually disgusted uh, by my own actions here. And uh, May just put in the ice ball there. And look at this. They can't get out. And this is... I don't know. I think this needs to be addressed. I think this could get annoying going forward playing this game. 
there needs to be some sort of little temporary buff that the team gets as soon as they leave that spawn area. Uh, that can just help them push out. And that, this is disgusting. Look look at this mercy. And my, my aiming is horrendous. Uh, but dead. Dead, dead, dead. And mercy going out on her own. That's, that's, uh, that's not a great move. And it just shows how uh, noobish uh, this team is. And um, yeah. Again, the health pack. Like I said, I don't even think I use my ultimate this whole game. I don't think I needed to. But yeah, I'm not used to his ultimate, to be honest. Um, I'm not. I didn't realize how much range it has. Because when you first pull it out, uh, you start swinging it and you think, oh, damn, I need to get right. Oh, this is disgusting. Just look at this. This is so embarrassing. I, I almost cut this out of the video. But I thought, you know what? I gotta show. I gotta show you guys what, <laughs> who you're watching. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. That, that was absolutely atrocious. I'm embarrassed to show that, but you know what? This is how I do on my channel. You see the good, you see the bad. And look at that, victory. I mean, granted we were playing scrubs. So, it's not like it was hard. Nice diverse um, set of uh, heroes. And this guy gets the uh, play of the game. Let's have a look, what do we got? Do, 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 do. Gonna do the ultimate, yeah boy. Two piece, three piece, three piece. Nice, very nice. And there you go. Oh, did I? I oh, I did not even make it onto the uh, the player card thing of magic. And um, there's a sign that the enemy team weren't very good. Not not one of them uh, got on the uh, card thingy. I don't know what what you, what you call them. And I got objective time gold, really nine seconds. Uh, this was a lobby full of scrubs, dude, myself included. But yeah, we're going on to the next game, and as I said, I'm gonna pick Soldier Seventy Six. And I think this guy is—he's OP, and I don't mind OP characters. You know, I don't mind OP ness. I'm not one of those guys that complains. Oh no, he's a little bit OP. You gotta nerf him, please nerf. Like the, you know, there's a big outcry to nerf um, Bastion. I don't. I think if you know how to play and you get a bit of ex bit of experience, you can counter Bastion very well. Um, so I don't really get that. You know, I know there's a lot of people saying, "Oh no, uh, I'm not bothered to learn how to play the game, so just nerf him." Um, there is ways. Uh, there are ways to counter Bastion very well, and um, I don't think he needs a nerf. But the only thing I think that needs addressing, maybe not a nerf, but it needs addressing, is that little motherfucker Torbjorn. That cock-sucking midget, I swear to god, his turrets are just unbelievable. It, one, they should never be 360 degrees. I don't know who came up with this idea that they, they they can rotate 360 degrees. Now, I was playing a game when I was Reaper, and I thought, oh, oh damn, these guys got Torbjorn out. They got their fucking turrets set up, and um, uh, I'm going to take them turrets out. So what I kept doing, I kept doing this over and over again like a dumbass, but... I kept uh, using his teleport, whatever that is, and going behind the turret, thinking, oh yes, I've gotten behind the turret, and we're just going to shoot it, take it out. But then the turret just turns around and shoots me in the face, uh, and I die. And um, the thing is, I never learned. I kept doing it because it was a subconscious uh, thing in the back of my head, that a turret should not be able to swivel all the way around. And I think that's the only change they need to make to Torbjorn. That turret should not be 360 degrees. It, it has to be 180. Because the thing is, it's 360, and even if you manage to take one out, right, you got to worry about the fucking half pint beardy weirdy sitting in a corner, and he'll shoot you in the ass, and you still got to worry about him, you got to worry about other enemy uh, teammates, right, and then even if you, after all that, you take out the fucking turret, he comes out from the fucking corner, and he puts another motherfucker down, and he's built another one up with no cooldown, and, you know, it... Come on, give us something. It's too much. When you're when you're playing against a team who have three, four Torbions, I mean, what are you gonna do? It's just frustrating. So I don't. I'm not one of those guys that say, "Oh, just you know, really nerf it down." Just just a slight tweak, which is stop it being a 360 degree thingamajig. It's it's too much. It's stupid. Anyway, back to the gameplay. I'm playing with uh, Soldier 76, and you can probably see why it's so easy to play with this guy. 
This guy's got unlimited sprint, right? And compare that to someone like McCree, who's got that little dash thingy. And you press that once and then you gotta wait, what, 9, 10 seconds to recharge? And this guy, he can just run forever. Uh, and it's like, why? Why for this guy? And he's got a healing thing, which not only heals him, it heals anyone who's in it, so he can heal teammates. Which is like, what the hell? His uh, rocket shooting thingamajig is pretty strong too. You can one-shot a lot of characters a lot of the time. And his ultimate is pretty good as well. And this, this rifle gun thing, whatever, is pretty accurate. You can kind of snipe with it at times. And it's just like, wow, this guy is... Yeah, I know he's very easy to play, right? He's meant to be very easy to play, but he's, he's very... You don't have to be very skilled to do to do well, right? And as you can see it in this vid, I, I go on like... A, I don't get any deaths, and I think um, there was, there is a point where I wipe the entire enemy team. Yeah, I'm on a 5 player kill streak, yeah? Oh, 6. Keeps on going. It's too easy. It's too easy. But again, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna be out there crying and saying, "Oh, please nerf solar sensing." No, it's just a player. You know, you want an easy player for the people that, you know, maybe are not so advanced at the game. Uh, this is the guy you want to pick, and he, there are ways to counter him. So I'm not gonna cry. You need to nerf him. The only nerf I wanna cry about is the fucking half pint beardy ready midget motherfucker and his goddamn turret. That, that shit needs to, it needs to be addressed, okay? Maybe not nerfed, but it needs to be addressed in some way. And, uh, yeah, that's the only thing I would bitch about, as it were. But anyway, we, we, we are just absolutely wrecking this team. I think the team was bad, for starters. Uh, but I think our team did also play well. And there's another elimination. He just keeps going on and on and on. There we go. Look at this. We don't make us hit now. I wow, all my hits and uh, Junkrat. Junkrat almost posed a small threat for a little while, but ultimately <coughs> couldn't uh, match up to Soldier 76. Now we're taking it. Hanzo, See, he's got range and you can spam it too, so you don't always need to be deadly accurate with it. With, like you do with Hanzo, you can't really spam it that much with Hanzo, you have to hit them. So, you know, it's alright. He's, he's an easy character to play. I'm not going to bitch about it. Look at this. Look at this. Ultimate out. One piece. Two piece. Three piece. And I think that... Oh, here we go. One more. Yep, that's four. Team kill. There you go. So I got the entire team there. And this, this is... <laughs> you, got, you won't believe this. I got the team kill, right? I went zero uh, deaths. I think I got like 14 something eliminations or whatever it is. And guess who gets the play of the fucking game? This motherfucker. This beardy beardy motherfucker. Oh my god. And and guess what it is? It's a fucking turret. And you know what? It's a level 1 turret. It's not even level 2. And he gets one kill. I think he gets two kills. Yeah, two kills. And he gets the play of the game. Why? What? Why? And I'm there, and at least at least the team appreciates how how I dominated. And look at that, I get the uh, I don't know what you call that, but I get the whatever. And and yeah, check it out, gold, two gold medals. And uh, yeah, and Tobion, come on, he puts his turret down. He doesn't even bother upgrading that motherfucker, and he gets. Um, I think anyway, the video's over. But um, I am bringing out a um, 100 sub milestone video. Uh, I'm sorry it's taking so long, but it takes time to make these kind of videos. And I didn't expect to shoot through 100 that quickly. I started it when I had 95 subs. But anyway, stick around. That'll be out in a couple of days. So uh, that'll be interesting for a, a, lot, of, a lot of you uh, new subscribers. So be sure to stick around for that one. Bye-bye.